next we have to explain how to write an assembly language program for our MASM assembler. Microsoft Macro Assembler or MASM is an x86 assembler that uses the Intel syntax for MS-DOS and Microsoft Windows. Uh, there are two types of uh, statements in an assembly language program. They are instructions or machine instructions and assembler directives. Corresponding to machine instructions, the machine code will be generated. But in the case of the, the assembler directives are directives. They will direct the assembler during their during the assembly process. Machine code, uh, there will be no machine code uh, corresponding to the assembler directives. Next we have to explain how to write an assembly language program for uh, our MASM, uh, how to assemble it and uh, how to execute it. We can consider a simple uh, program to display a message. Okay, uh, this is our simple program. That is assembly language program to display a string ending with a dollar sign. So uh, we have some set of uh, statements, some machine instructions and also assembler directives. We will explain each of this uh, after executing this one. First we have to uh, assemble this, uh, this program and uh, execute it okay so this is our program and uh, uh, we have saved this program as a dot asm file that is uh, first dot asm and at the starting we have uh, used a comment this is actually a comment okay so this is our first dot asm this file contains the assembly as our assembly language program and this is present in uh, our hardware lab folder. Hardware lab folder contains the first.ism. And this also contains our, uh, this hardware lab folder also contains this MASM 611, our assembler. Okay. Uh, uh, this uh, this is our uh, assembly language program. Uh, the name of the file is first dot asm. That is the extension is dot asm. Then this uh, folder also uh, this hardware lab folder also contains uh, masm six one one. We can delete these folders. Okay. Uh, first dot asm. Uh, so our hardware lab folder contains first.asm and masm611. Masm611 is our uh, uh, assembler. So that contains a bin folder and inside this bin folder that contains a number of commands that can be used for our assembly process. Okay. Executable files. Then we can go to our uh, DOS environment that is DOS box and uh, we, uh, we we already have mounted but th that folder is now uh, we can start from the beginning okay we are just uh, launching our dos box then next step is uh, if we close the uh, dos box then uh, the already mounted drives will be lost so we have to again mount that that uh, folder into dos box So, mount C drive as or mount our home Irshad HW lab folder as C drive. This is mounted. Then next is go to our uh, C drive. For that purpose, we can use C colon, then enter. So, we are now in C drive. 
then next step is we have to uh, okay we have to assemble uh, assemble our program uh, before that we, we have to list what is there in our folder this uh, this drive c drive that is our hardware lab folder now contains masm611 that is our assembler and first dot asm that is a assembly language program file then next is uh, we we want to assemble our program for that purpose there is a command masm m a s m this command that command is present within the within our uh, masm611 bin folder this is our command masm6 uh, masm masm.exe so that is our assembler and there is another uh, command link command okay so within dos box masm then our assembly language program that is first dot asm first dot yes this will assemble our program so if we uh, press enter so in our case masm is not an internal command and is not present within our c directory so in this case we have to specify the path for the executable masm because masm is present inside the this folder uh, this uh, masm.exe is present inside masm611 bin okay uh, in the case of dos operating system uh, while we are executing a command it will first check uh, whether that command is an internal command if it is not an internal command then it will check whether that command is present within the current directory and if it if it is not present within the current directory then the uh, the, the dos operating system will check whether uh, it is present within the it is mentioned within the path environment variable so path uh, path environment variable is a uh, is a variable present within the dos system that will store the store a list of directories that contain some executable commands so uh, to know the current path current value present current uh, list present within the path environment variable just type path in our dos prompt so okay so if you type uh, path then currently this path variable contains only this uh, z drive only so we have to add our uh, masm611 bin folder to the path variable so to attach a uh, a directory name to our uh, path environment variable we can use the command set set path is equal to we have to append the new path to the uh, the new directory name at the end of current path so for that purpose current path that is percentage path then again a percentage sign then semicolon this paths will be separated by semicolon then c slash masm 611 slash bin this folder contains the executable file masm that is why we are specifying the c c colon masm611 slash bin and enter now the path variable is set with this new directory also so if it uh, if we type path that will show the current path that is path contains z directory or z drive semicolon the next one is this one so while uh, executing a command now the dos system will uh, first check whether it is internal command if it is not internal command 
then it will check whether it is present within the current directory and if it is not uh, present within the current directory then it will check whether uh, it is mentioned within the path so now that is mentioned in a path path variable that is uh, here so if we run now masam masm our uh, program is present within the first dot asm and if we execute this masam x1 now it is uh, assembled now our program first dot asm is assembled and this will generate an obj file object file if we uh, list our folder c folder or c directory then dir so we have one more uh, we have one more file here first dot obj file is also created this is our object file and if we look through linux this is our hardware lab for so oh, here one more file that is first dot obj is also created here this is our assembly language program first dot asm that contains this program okay then uh, now the obj file is created then next uh, we have to link this obj file for that purpose we can use our command link link uh, first dot obj link first dot obj so then that will uh, prompt for executable file name if you are just uh, just entering then the executable will be uh, will have a name first first dot exe otherwise we can give some uh, some name for example i am giving display as the name for executable so display just just uh, enter 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 just uh, skip it okay now the uh, object file is linked this will create a create an executable file if we check with the dir oh, okay one exe file display.exe is created and if we check through our ubuntu as ubuntu that is display.exe is created there okay then next how to execute this exe file and to execute an exe file in dos prompt simply type that exe file name so here display okay hello gcs kpm so our program is to just display a message hello gc skpm that's about how to uh, execute an assembly language program in dos box so uh, to assemble a program we'll use a command m a s m m a s m we can give either in small letter or capital letter m a s m then the our file name file dot dot as our assembly language file example uh, m a s m first dot as dot s and to this will generate an obj file and to link what we will use link then first dot obj then this will generate an executable file with the name whatever we are giving so uh, in our example we have given a display so to execute an executable uh, to execute an exe file this will create an exe file so to execute an exe file simply type the uh, exe file name display display so that will uh, execute our assembly language program and will show the output so our program was to just display a, a message onto the screen this is hello gc skpm This is about how to execute 
a simple assembly language program.